think my coworkers get sick of me because I am biased to Creighton since I graduated from there, but I, there is something very special about Creighton. I think the alumni network there is much stronger than other universities that I've witnessed. And there's something that happens when you become part of that community, and it has to do with, they call it the spirit of Creighton, and it's about philanthropy. I didn't understand this when I went there. I, I, I thought, okay, they're, they're instilling the philanthropy in us because it's the right thing to do. What I didn't understand is that they were continuing the vision of the Creighton family. This is something that Mary Lucretia did while Ed was out surveying the, the Telegraph. She was in the poorest neighborhoods of Omaha, you know, feeding families that couldn't afford food on their own. And uh, Sarah Emily, healthcare was very important to this family. They started the first hospital. I think they themselves had health problems, but they saw others in the community that needed help and that couldn't afford to bring doctors in from other big cities. So they said, we need to have them here. So it, it hit me that philanthropy was such a part of the Creighton family and, and then for, again, it to be carried out through the university. It's that thread that, that goes through the university now and once you get your degree from Creighton, it doesn't end there. The people continue to be involved with the campus and with the activities that that, the, that community finds important. I don't